So a great example of plant species effects on uh, soil properties comes from a study in Poland by a group of University of Minnesota professors and faculty from other universities and the Polish Academy of Sciences. And they asked the question, do woody species cause rapid changes in soils and ecosystem processes? And they took advantage of a really great system in Poland. Uh, it was a set of provenance trials in which a, a number of different uh, species were planted in monospecific blocks. So all the same species planted in a particular uh, stand. And there were uh, nine different species and each stand was planted at the similar densities and a similar time. And over 30 years, these plants interacted with uh, the site and the soils in which they were planted. And researchers decided, let's take a look at how these individual species could influence the soils below them and whether or not, even after only 30 years of having, say, Pinus sylvestris versus Quercus rober on a site, whether you could see a signal of those trees in the soil. And so what they did, first of all, is they needed to characterize the inputs from the plants. And so they collected leaf litter to get um, litter inputs uh, from above ground. They also collected below ground litter and looked at the uh, characteristics of uh, the litter that was being put into the soil by each of these species. And then they also collected soil cores and soils data to characterize the below ground environment and characterize uh, the soils themselves to look for this signal of individual species and soils. So what did they find? Well, they found a really strong effect of uh, plant chemistry on soil chemistry. So after 30 years, soil chemistry really reflected plant chemistry. So what do the data show? I'm going to walk you through this graph. On the left side, we're looking at the O horizon, so the organic horizon in these sites. And then on the right set of panels, we're looking at soils from 0 to 40 centimeters. On the x-axis is the litter calcium. So this is the calcium levels in the litter being input into the system. What we can see is that calcium varies greatly from rather low levels of calcium to really high calcium litter being put into the site. On the y-axis, on the top panel, we have the soil pH, uh, moving from acid to more alkaline soils. So uh, acid to neutral and alkaline. And then we have exchangeable calcium. So this is a calcium that can be exchanged off of these cation exchange sites within the soils. Uh, and what you can see in all four of these panels is a very strong relationship between the chemistry of the litter going in and the chemistry of the soil. And so you see this strong relationship between litter chemistry and soil chemistry. So things that have very high uh, litter chemistry lead to high levels of that particular element in the soils underneath them. And I need to mention that these plants were all planted on the same starting soils. And so these are all changes that have occurred in just 30 years of interactions between the plants and those soils, 30 years of inputs from those plants to those soils, altering uh, the chemistry of those soils. So this is a really, really nice example of the relationship and the kind of interaction and the specific effects that a um, individual species can have on the soils below them.